Assalamualaikum and good day. So we are still in topic 5.5 volume. Now we are looking at solids of revolution volume by washers method. This is an extension of the this method. The procedure is essentially the same, but now we are dealing with a hollow object and two functions instead of one. So we have to take the difference of these functions into the account. It means that the difference between this method and washer methods is we dealing with two functions. Okay, when you need to find the volume of two functions, the region bounded by two functions, then you will use washer method. The general formula in this case would be A is the area equal to pi time with r square capital r square minus small r square where capital r is an outer radius and small r is the inner radius so this is just the general formula before we go to the formula of volume by washer's method Let's look at this schematic diagram here in order to give you the idea about washer method. So let's say you have two functions y equal to x square and y equal to square root x. Then you sketch these two curves so you will get this region. Okay, the shaded here is the region bounded by these two curves from 0 to 1. So now if we revolve this shaded area about the x-axis, okay, you revolve about the x-axis, then you will have a solid, okay? So this is your solid of revolution. So from here, if you look inside this solid, we will have two radius and if you Look at this radius, it will represent like a donut or we call this as washer. Alright, and then we have the thickness, okay, because this washer actually represent from the bottom until the top here. Okay, you can imagine you have a, some kind like donut, okay, move along this uh, along this axis, axis represent your solid okay then it will have a thickness the difference between two donuts all right so in this figure two if we look at the cross-sectional area of this uh, washer here then we will have two radius okay radius that represent the outer radius so we write in capital R and the radius that represent the inner radius okay because we have two function remember we have two function so from these two radius so as we did in previous subtopic radius is actually represented by the given function okay so from these two radius you must to identify which function represent your outer radius and which function represent your inner radius. So for this problem, the outer radius is represented by y equal to square root x. Why? Because by looking at this, you can see that this is the curve for y equal to square root x. Then the bigger round here touch your y equal to square root x okay touch your outer function here so therefore y equal to square root x represent your outer radius and the other function 
will represent your inner radius. So your inner radius represent by y equal to x square because you can see here the inner radius touch your second function here. Okay, your inside curve here. So y equal to x square represent your small r. So based on the formula, a equal to pi time with outer radius square minus inner radius square. So you substitute your function here, then you will get the equation or the value, sorry, the equation for your A. Okay, so how to get the volume? So the, 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 the formula for volume is come by multiply d dx, the thickness. Okay, so multiply the area by the thickness dx to get the volume of a representative washer. So volume we get by multiply our area time is d dx. Alright, so this the main or the general equation that we will use later when we want to calculate our volume by using washer methods. Okay. So, two important things. The first one, washer method, the region bounded by two functions. And then the second one, you must to know which function represent your outer radius, which function represent your inner radius in order to plug in or in order to calculate the area and also the volume later. Another um, definition or explanation about Walsh's method with a small modification of the disk method we can find the volume of a solid figure generated by revolving about the x axis the region between two curves y equal to fx and y equal to gx where fx is bigger than or greater is greater than or equal gx for x is between lower limit a and also upper limit b okay another figure here if you can see at this diagram let's say you have function y equal to fx okay the above function and you have y equal to gx the below function here all right and then you can find the region bounded by these two function from a to b then if we resolve about the x and c then we will have this solid. So you can see here inside this solid, we can have a donut or this we call as a washer. So this washer or this donut here, we can find the radius. Okay. So we can see here we have the outer radius here. Your outer radius touch your Fx. Okay. And then you have the inner radius where your inner radius from this circle, represent your circle here, you can have the inner radius where your inner radius touch your gx. So, the radius actually represent by your function itself. Okay. So, the outer radius given by your fx and the inner radius given by your gx. So, you will plug in this into your formula later. So, in this case, okay. Volume by washers perpendicular to x at this. Suppose r is the region bounded by y equal to fx, y equal to gx, x equal to a and x equal to b where fx greater than or equal to gx in a, b. The volume of the solid revolution that is generated by revolving the region r about the x at this is given by this formula. So remember we have the area formula here. Okay. Your outer radius minus your inner radius and then we multiply with the out, the x which is your volume and then to calculate the total volume we must to integrate from A to B. This is for the case if you generate about the x axis. If you generate or if you revolve about the y axis the same thing but now your variable change to y okay volume by washer perpendicular to y axis suppose r is the region bounded from x equal to fy x equal to gy 
y equal to c and y equal to d where fy greater than or equal to gy in the interval cd. The volume of the solid revolution that is generated by revolving the region r about d, sorry, missing here y at z, is given by this formula. V equal to integrate this formula respect to V from C to D. Okay, so next we will look at several examples. Example 1, find the volume of the solid obtained by rotating the region bounded by Y equal to X square and Y equal to X that lies in the first quadrant about the x-axis. So we will rotate our region revolve about the x-axis and we only consider the first quadrant. So let's we sketch first. Eh? So we have okay, we're looking at first quadrant only. So we have y equal to x square. So y equal to x square. This should be your curve here, okay? Parabolic here. And then y equal to x is a straight line. So this is y equal to x square. And then y equal to x is a straight line. Sorry, it should be straight line. Okay. Y equal to X. So, this is our region. Okay. This is our region. Bonded by these two curve. So, now we want to rotate about the x axis here okay so we want to rotate about the x axis in 360 degree so if you imagine if you rotate these two curve here okay about the x axis and then you rotate this region it will give you a solid so you will have so we will have this region below here Alright, okay, so from here, if you can see, so we will have this uh, intersection here, okay, right, so inside here, we we can have we can have the radius okay so if we look here we will have donut or we will have a circle which can find the radius so if i sketch here i can have a circle here that touch our outer function or that touch our Urban function, okay. And then I can have the uh, inner radius or another circle that touch my second function, if you can see here. Right, it's not too clear. Okay, I write again. Without doing the dot dot. Eh? If I make a circle, so I can have a circle that touch my uh, outer function 
And then I can have another circle that touch my inner function. Okay. So if you look here, you will have two radius. All right. So from this, you can see that the first radius here is your capital R. And then you will have a small radius here is your small R. Okay. So in other words, from here, we can see that Capital R represent by your function y equal to, okay, y equal to x. And then your small r represent by your y equal to your second function y equal to x square here. Okay, so we need to identify between these two curves which is our outer radius and which is our inner radius okay which represent our outer radius and inner radius so now let's calculate the volume so before we can calculate the volume first we need to find the intersection point here what is the value for this intersection point x equal to what all right so how to find the intersection point so we must to solve simultaneously these two function here the so point of intersection x square equal to x okay which is x square minus x equal to zero and then we can cut the rise which give us x equal to zero and x equal to one Therefore, the value here is 1. Then we have the region which bounded from 0 to 1. Eh? Alright. And then after that, second, we must to identify the outer radius and inner radius. So, outer radius is given by, okay, y equal to fx. So, outer radius represent by fx equal to x and then our inner radius is given by the other function okay you can see here the inner radius starts here y equal to x square here so we write as gx eh? equal to x square so now we can calculate the volume by using this formula here all right so, V equal to integrate from A, sorry, we straight away substitute the limit 0 to 1 pi time with outer radius square. So, we have X square minus inner radius square, X square square DX. Okay, so pi is constant with brain outside 0 to 1. Expand the integrand first. I have x square minus x power 4 dx. Now we can evaluate our integral. Okay, so this is our integration and then limit 0 to 1. Alright. So, V equal to pi, substitute the limit. Okay, so substitute 1. So, we have 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5 minus 0. So, we equate the denominator 15. So, we have 5 minus 3. Okay. Therefore, V equal to 2 over 15 pi unit cube. 
So this is our volume by using washer method for this solid of revolution given by this region when we revolve about the x-axis. Okay. So if I can share you by using maple. So this is the problem. Example 1. Okay. Then if I plot x square and x in the same axis at the first quadrant. So we will have this. Okay. This is more clear compared to my sketching. Alright. And then if you revolve about the x axis. So we will have this. Okay. So this time if I can show you that we have two colors here because we have two function actually. So if you can see here, outside here you can have a straight line. So this is the outer radius. Uh, the straight line is your uh, outer function. Okay, if you can see inside here, if I can show you, you can see inside here, you can have some kind like a curve if I can move first. Okay, so you have a straight line y equal to x as your outer function. Then inside here, you can see the blue color here. Okay, can you see the blue color here? It's a curve represent your y equal to x square. So this is the inner function. Okay, that's why we can identify which um, outer radius and which one is inner radius. Okay, you can see the blue color here. Okay y equal to x square. It's not a straight line. Eh? It's a parabola inside here. The blue color here. Okay. Outside here is a straight line. So that's the idea about the washer method. Alright. Then if we calculate the volume, we get 2 over 15 pi. Okay.